Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 4 Pick My Edits. It's time to take Capathogia Castle, and we're gonna be doing that with Mana. So, uh, Mana is finally in love with Rotobat, and that's great, because, uh, you know, that gives her a bonus to her hit and accuracy. Uh, hit and accuracy, actually. Hit and avoidance. And it's nice, because they actually, they're one of the couples that get a unique conversation in the last chapter, so I'm happy about that. Um, now, I'm a little bit sad. Ow! I'm a little bit sad that that Rotoban has lost his ability to steal money and give away cash, because Mana gets a lot of cash when she steals things with the thief span. So she could have given that money away from Ro right, or away to Rotoban and have Rotoban like feed everyone in the army with cash, which would have been pretty fucking cool. But sadly, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Now we gotta block Hannibal from entering this castle. So I'm gonna place Rotoban right here. Uh, if you allow him to get back into his castle, he's going to get a bunch of reinforcements, and those reinforcements are actually going to attack you. Um, they're going to attack you from, uh, or they're going to attack you directly from the castles. They're gonna ambush you, in a sense, which is not good. Diesler! Oh, nice one, Dimna. Holy shit! Oh my god! What the fuck just happened? What? Oh my god. That's insane. Holy shit. Alright, so, uh, this has been addressed quite a lot in the comments already, but fun fact about Dimna is that he can never level hit points, because, um, or he can, but he has a 15% hit points growth, because apparently if you go above 250%, or 255%, your growth actually gets reset to zero, and since he has a 270% growth, I think he only has a 15% hit point growth, which is kind of sad, which is why he's only leveled hit point a single time. Yeah, what can you do? Anyway, so we need to send Oifi over here. I'm, I'm sending these guys up to intercept this guy because he's burning down the village where the secret event takes place. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, visit the village with Femina to give her some additional defense. Because I'm pretty sure she'll need it. But I'm sending up my... Uh, I'm sending my mounted units to go deal with them. I might as well bring Aris as well. There are some pretty scary heroes and... I'm not really sure if the heroes will attack me whenever I attack them, but as you can see, these guys are nasty as shit, so I'll probably need a pretty large army to take them down. Now, Tana is going to go and recruit herself right now. She's gonna go speak to, uh... She's gonna go speak to Leaf. Leaf, I'm saying. She's gonna go speak to Selif. There is a conversation with Leaf as well, naturally. Threesia face. Oh, right, right, right. I think, I think... You can recruit her with Leaf as well, can't you? Pretty sure you can, but yeah, let's just seize the castle. So that gives us another recruit. Ba 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 ba! Lufesia seized. That gives us Charlo, and Charlo is a mage. And uh, he comes with a physics and a fire tome. Now, Charlo. Uh, yeah, he was always supposed to be a mage. I was wondering if he maybe was supposed to be a wind mage, but no, he's just a regular mage. But he does promote to a sage. He has major Forseti blood. Now, his stats are not the best, but he can use the Forseti. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to sell the Forseti tome with Finn, and I'm going to give this tome to Charlo, because he can make way better use of it than Finn can. I mean, Finn can kill everything with an Elwyn Tome anyway, so he doesn't need it. Whereas Charlo can really do wonders with the Forsyte Tome. He has Pursuit and Paragon, so he'll be really easy to level up. And he comes with a Physics stuff, which is nice. I'm gonna sell that away and give that to someone else, because that's always very nice to have. So yeah, I'm, I'm really I'm really hyped about Charlo. I think he's he can he has potential to be a pretty good unit. I mean, his growth rates are pretty okay. He has a 50% magic growth and a 105% speed growth. So as a Sage, he will definitely cap speed. He'll most likely cap skill and magic as well. And he is pretty tanky at 25% defense as well and 100% hit points. So I foresee Charlo becoming an insane sage with the Forsetti. He, he might even surpass Finn stat-wise, which is kind of funny. So yeah, we need to send uh, Charlo back. And then we also... I'm, I'm actually wondering, can... Uh, we have Leaf. Can Leaf recruit Altena? No. He cannot. Oh, okay then. Um... I suppose we'll recruit Altana. However, I got some off-screen movement to do, so I'll be right back. Alright, so time to recruit Altana! Ba -da, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. 
So yeah, let's take a look at Altena. I'm not sure if I talked about her already, but I guess I'll do it again. So here's Altena. I think I do believe she's completely unchanged. Uh, again, she was supposed to be a Pegasus Knight, but Olika didn't put that in, apparently. She doesn't have Major Baldur Blood either, so apparently nothing changed, because, uh, of course, Ethlyn passed down Major Baldur Blood to Finn, uh, sorry, to Finn, I'm saying, to Leaf, so that's kind of strange. But yeah, Atena, she's easily one of the best characters in the second generation, and it's nice to have a fl flyer on my team. I gotta admit that, that is actually kind of nice. Let's send her into the arena. Let's have some fun with the arena, shall we? I'm wondering if maybe I should, um... Maybe I should give her a Silver Lance or something. Nah, why bother? Let's use the motherfucking Gayborg. Not sure if she's gonna clear it. She might. If, if she clears it, I'm pretty sure she can promote to... Oh my god, yeah. She's pretty slow. Because the Gayborg is heavy. I think that's one of her biggest uh, weaknesses. She can get doubled quite a lot in the arena. Even though the Gayborg gives her plus 10 defense, it still doesn't save her from just getting wrecked by some super high attack power gladiator guy. She also has crit, which is nice to see. Don't think there's many characters that can survive a crit from Altena. Maybe aside from like the final boss. Millier the Myrmidon, he's, he might be challenging. Uh, the, oh, never mind. Altena's just gonna fucking wreck Millier. I do believe the Gayborg also gives plus 10 skill, so it's pretty fucking good. I, is it even nerfed in this person? Because there, there is one or two legendaries. I think the Gungnir is at full strength. I think the Cheer thing is at full strength. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Book of Narga. Oh my god, she just crits like there's no fucking tomorrow. Holy fucking shit. But yeah, she's level 17, which means that she can still promote. I mean, Altena's just insane. She's absolutely fucking insane. And as far as her lover, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make her fall in love with Charlo. Because they have some conversations with each other. Oh boy. Never Oh my god. Okay, there is something wrong with the game. <laughs> Does it have 50 kills on it? No way. No way it has 50 kills. Hit points, skill, strength, speed, lovely. Oh my god. Triesta, Draconine. Okay, this could be tricky. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ah, there we go. That's as far as she goes. I'm afraid. But hey, it went pretty well. Bom, 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 bom. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, so there's definitely something really wrong with the love growths, because I kept Linda next to Hawk for 20 turns, and then she fell in love with Tristan. I have no idea why this happens, but it did. Really fucking weird. Now, I also bought the Forsetti Tome with Charlo. The only problem is he can't really do much in the arena, because he gets one shot. Uh, so he'll definitely need to level up a little bit first. I think maybe giving him the Tornado Tome would be, would be viable, but we have some people to rest before we can do that. Anyway, we got some secret events to take care of. Here we go. Hee 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 hee! Would ya believe it? I was sitting around the town square, and this girl confessed her love to me. It feels so great. Wish I could share my happiness with ya. Err. Hang on, you're with the Liberators, right? Here, take the town's famous tonic and secret book. Thanks. Love is such a wondrous thing. You ought to find someone you love too. Now, I don't know if this event is... Uh, I don't think this event, like, even if he has a lover, I, I still think that this event triggers, even though he says, go find yourself a lover. But yeah, I guess tree magic and tree rest from this, as if Hawk needed to become even stronger. But yeah, now he's a lot stronger, so there's that. Then we gotta visit uh, this uh, village right here. Wow, what a beauty! <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, how rude of me. You see, I'm the prince of the great state of Isaac. Call me Shannon. You're just too pretty, miss. I had to meet you, you know. I may be so bold. How'd you like to go get a nice hot meal with me? I know the most charming, charming little tavern. Something wrong, miss? Oh, I see you're all nervous because you stand before me, the great prince Shannon, aren't you? Don't worry about it. How I look doesn't matter, because to me, staying close with the peasants is the most important thing there is. <laughs> Ah, so you're... Alright, then show me Balmung. I always want to see it for myself. Oh, Balmung? Oh, yeah, the Balmung. Oh, yeah, here you go. Look, it's the Balmung. The great Draco shield. Oh, they've actually translated it to a Draco shield. That's cool. How about it, huh? Now, where are we? Where were we? Dinner, right? Oh, you imbecile. Everyone knows the Balmung isn't a shield. You're nothing like the real Prince Shannon. Ah, oh, jeez. You're part of the Liberation Army, aren't you? Look, I'm real sorry. It's just... 
We've been fawning over me left and right ever since I took to calling myself Shannon. Here, take the bloody shield. Let's pretend this never happened, alright? Honestly, what a pig. Oh well, I guess the shield helped me toughen up a bit. That gives her plus three defense. And some gold, which is always nice. So yeah, it helps. It, it sure helps. So, uh, we're just gonna get all this cash. Uh, come to think of it, will Daisy cap out? No, she most definitely will not cap out. So yeah, um, I'll just go and get the rest of the cash off screen. Oh no, never mind. Before I do that, there is one more thing I have to do. I warped Dimna back. So let's uh, get him up to Arch 9. Apparently, he doesn't get any hit points from this uh, promotion either, so that kind of sucks. Ra ba 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 ba. Two skill, three strength, two speed, two defense, three resistance. Wow, he has camp strength of 30. That is pretty badass. Wonder if I can go farther in the arena right now. But yeah, his low hit points is a problem, but it's kind of charming actually. He's like a super glass cannon. Canon the Baron with the tornado. Yeah, that's um. He's just gonna get one shot. Ah, oh, maybe not. Oh, he's gonna get one shot. Ah, maybe not. Did not can crits, but he's he's not gonna be able to kill this guy. Oh, or maybe not. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh my god. Oh shit. He pro continue. Ah, he's dead. Well, that sucks. But hey, I mean, at least Dimna's a lot better than he used to be. Uh, I wonder if he he may be in the need to repair his bow a little bit. Yep, for sure. Actually, come to think of it, he could get the Elite Ring if he gets 2,000 more cash, but no, it's not really going to be necessary at all. But yeah, let's take a look at his stats. Those are some pretty good stats, if I may say so myself. Yeah, all oh, right, it, it, it was listed as him having 30 strength because he has a strength ring, of course. Yeah, he hits really hard. It's a really good unit. 26 speed is pretty fucking good as well. Anyway, we are back. All right, so we have successfully resurrected Asala and Layla, and it is time for Jan to promote. Because she gets one level every time she uses the Valkyrie staff, which is kind of sweet. So finally, she is ready to become a Paladin, and the promotional gains from Troubadour to Paladin are pretty fucking insane. Da 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 da. Three skill, six strength, three speed, two magic, six defense, and two resistance. Look at that! Now that looks more like it. That is a pretty good unit. And look at that. She can now use uh, lances and swords. And I might gonna, I might swing by to see if uh, I can pick up a lance. Uh, I mean, she has, she doesn't have the best lance rank. And there aren't, honestly, that many lances available. I mean, there's a horse slayer. I mean, it's better than no lance because the bolt sword is not gonna be able to do much against those myrmidons in the arena. She can use a brave sword though. That's um, I gotta admit, that's tempting. Ooh, slim lance. I might actually, ooh, restore. Restore would also be sweet. Wing Slayer would also be kind of sweet. So would the Earth. The Earth Sword would actually be even sweeter. I'm gonna buy the Earth Sword. Because the Earth Sword would actually allow her to go pretty far into the arena, I think. Although I can probably, let's see, against this guy, this is a Cavalier with the Steel Sword. Oh, maybe I should have used the Slim Lens. I don't think it's gonna matter all that much. She's definitely going to win this one. Wow, wow, wow. But furthermore, this is going to give her cash. And being able to fight in the arena is nice, because then she can earn in her own cash. Axe Knight, definitely going to be... I'm going to be continuing with the Bolt Sword on this one, actually. Yep, definitely going to win this one. One skill and one rest. Sweet. Now who are we gonna fight next? This is the Myrmidon with the Brave Sword. So we're gonna be trying out the Slim Lance against this guy to see if we can... Uh, this guy's probably gonna be faster than us. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's... um. 
That's not fantastic. I mean, we might try. I mean, maybe what I can do, I suppose. This is since I have Layla here. I could heal her up with Layla. Not sure if Layla's gonna top her up, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like we're pressed for time or anything. And then maybe I can try challenging the Myrmidon with the Earth Sword, but I don't think it's gonna go much better, to be quite honest. Yay, Ress. Nice to have you back, Layla. Do we have any conversations? Yeah, we have Esela with Daisy. And I do believe, doesn't Charlo have a conversation with Layla? Or does that not count if Layla is dead when the conversation... I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to talk to Layla. But maybe since she was dead, the conversation was like never initiated. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm gonna try to use the Earth Sword. We'll see how it goes. Probably not very well, but I'm gonna try. Because the Earth Sword is pretty fucking strong. Uh, ow, ow. Oh, that didn't go very well at all. Alright, you know what? Be right back. Alright, so I decided to uh, level up four of my staff users up to level 20, because the challenge that comes ahead is actually really fucking tough. And, um, I want to promote the guys that I can promote. So, we're going to be promoting Yulia into a Dark Bishop. And uh, I dare say she's going to become quite good. Now, Yulia, of course, sadly... Um, she goes away in the next chapter, so I wanted to promote her before she gets taken away. Although, the argument can be made that it's easier for you if you don't level up Julia at all, because then she doesn't become a threat in the final chapter, but hey, I don't care. So yeah, these are the Dark Bishop promotional gains. I think they're pretty similar to the Sage ones. But yeah, look at this. Now, of course, Julia caps magic really easily, as well as resistance because of her insane growth. But right now, I dare say she will do pretty well in the arena. She can make a little bit of a buck so she can buy some staves. Although I'm gonna be have to sell them away from her next uh, before she gets taken away. Look at that. And it is it seems like she doesn't bug out in the arena either either. Oh my god, she does 50 damage. That's insane. She managed to be able to get pretty far, because she's fast as balls. Even with the uh, Jormungander weighing her down, she should be able to do pretty well. Whoa. Two hit points remaining, lol. Jesus Christ, she's good right now. Who knew? In the end, even Julia became decent. But yeah, the, the challenge that comes up next ahead is Musar, and he is just plain nasty. Oh my god. Will Julia be able to... I don't think Mi Julia will be able to kill Millier, to be quite honest. Oh my god, did she proc adept? How the fuck? She actually beat Millier. That's insane. This Mervin on this who usually takes down people in the arena. Let's find another round. Hey, it's Klein! Klein's back! Hey, Klein. I'm pretty sure Julia's gonna win this one. I never understood why Klein is the the next opponent after Millier. Millier is much nastier than Klein. A fucking Myrmidon with the Brave Sword is a lot scarier than an Armor Knight with the Steel Lance. Holy balls. Nice. Alright, so the next one is to Slayton. Yeah, she might beat Slayton as well. Possibly? Ah, uh, it depends. It depends. She does have a 100% hit chance, which is pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Holy shit. She kicked the crap out of Slayton. Hit points and speed. Speedo! Nice fighting, mates. Alright, let's see if we can get the next one. Tria Avid. This one's gonna go to hell, I'm pretty sure. Yup, we're dead. But, but. 73 hit points, lol. Alright, that was fun, though. And she got 13,000 out of it, which is kind of nice. That means she can probably buy the restart. I should probably not buy the restart stuff. Alright, it's time for Tristan to promote. 
Looks like you've been working hard. <laughs> yep, I have been working very hard. It's time to become a Master Knights. <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. God, look at those promotional gains. Oh, so sexing. So yeah, here is Tristan as a level 20 Master Knight. Those are Rakesis style base stats. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is pretty fucking good. So, the question is then, should we maybe give him a brave... Should probably give him some brave weapons, to be quite honest, so he can fight. Yeah, if we give him brave weapons, I mean, it's not like anyone else can use them, right? Um, yeah, let's give him a brave lance, and I think... Let's see if we can... We need some more cash before we can buy the brave axe. Ooh, that's exactly what we needed, though. We really need a break. I mean, maybe we can sell the... Uh, I mean, we can't sell the... Maybe we should just try the Brave Lance. Let's see how it goes. I should have bought the Brave Axe first, because I actually kind of needed that for this, this fine. Although I could go and buy the Wing Clipper. I wonder, how much is it for the Wing Clipper? It's pretty, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, god, there's so much equipment here, it's insane. Wing Slayer is 5,000, although I'm gonna get Weapon Triangled, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's try the Brave Lance. Worst case scenario, we can give some money over with Linda. Oh, we could've done that first! Why didn't I think about that? Ow. Ow. Nice one! Good job, Tristan. Good job, Tristan. Mmm, yes, I think so. Okay, this is where things get dicey. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get past this guy. Ah, we'll see, maybe. Problem is that Blaster Tornado Tome is so good. Depends, I could crit. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, Tristan. Come on, Tristan. Come on, Tristan! Dodge, 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 dodge! Oh, well. I tried my best. But yeah, I'm probably what I'm probably gonna do. Since no wait, it's uh it's yeah, it's Lin but Linda's also gonna promote <laughs> I also bought her a light tone. Alright, time for Linda to become insane. So I'm probably gonna give some money over to Tristan with Linda and, and buy some Bray weapons with him. Although Leaf is also gonna promote, so he might also need some weapons, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Five skill, eight speed, seven magic, two resistance. Lol, sage gains. Lol, sage gains. Just insane. Just insane. Let's go into the arena. This is like the big arena episode. And now she has the light tome, which is just infinitely better in every single regard. I just sold the aura tome because honestly, what 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 should I do with the aura tome? The lightning tome is so much better. Oof. Nasty. No! Oh, she critted. She has critical? Apparently the light tome has some kills on him. What the fuck? How did she Oh Wrath, never mind. I was like, oh. I forgot that she had Wrath. Klein! Now as long as the enemy doesn't like I don't think she's gonna get past the um I love how I just interrupt my <laughs> interrupt myself mid-sentence. Uh, what I was going to say was, uh, as long as the enemies don't one-shot her, she should be fine. But I don't think she's going to get past the Armor Knight. Uh, not the Armor Knight. The Draco. The Draco Knight with the Brave Lance. I think that's where she stops. Jeez, she may would have... Maybe she would have been able to kill the Baron. Maybe. Just because uh, the Baron gets Weapon Triangle disadvantage. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's gonna get fucked over though, but fucking hell he hits hard. 43 damage. Lol. Fuck logic. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Get getting those juicy paragon gains. Hit points, level Linda. Of course, she's capped most of her other stats, so it's not a, it's not really strange at all. But yeah, this is. Oh wow, she goes first. Okay, if she goes first, then I can just re-enter. And oh, oh my god, did she just miss? Yeah, this is where I die. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? RNG, lol. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I don't need to re-enter after all. Oh, come on. Well... There you go. Jesus Christ, level 22 already. Hit points and speed. 26 speed. God, I got so many good units now. Alright, Kanan the Baron. Let's go. Actually maybe the maybe the Nosferatu would have been a better would have been a better pick here. Oh yeah, I definitely think so. But even if I lose this, I can probably just re-enter and hit him in the face with a lightning crane. Oh, that's not enough to activate Wrath though, that sucks. This guy has a 27% chance to tink too, which is gonna be really annoying. Ah, going pretty well so far. She can take one more hit, I'm fairly certain. He does 45 damage, she has 26 resistance. Pretty sure she's gonna be fine, but yeah, she's gonna take four tornadoes. Does this guy have Adept? I think this guy has Adept. Either that or he's just really fast. Probably the later. Alright. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
There we go. With the Brave Axe, I think I may have a chance against this guy. Possibly. Triesta! Oh yeah, totally I do. Uh. Now... It remains to see if we can deal with the Baron. I don't think we can, but I'm going to try. Two hit points, one rest. Alright, go Leaf. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, if I get a crit, then I will do... 180... No, how does that work? Yeah, 180 something damage. I might be able to do it. What am I thinking? 100, what am I talking about? If I crit, I do 86 damage, not 180. God, that's the biggest Manx math derp ever. Ow. Yeah, this is this is not gonna go very well for me, I think. Eh, nah, he's dead. Yeah, we've done so much arena now, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm gonna have to end this episode right here. Join us next time as we take on Musar. Musar is a nasty fucker in this pick my edits. I'm I'm just gonna spoil this. He wills the first steady. He was supposed to be a Mr. Antonan, but again, Holy God wasn't able to change his name. So yeah, uh, join us next time as we take on Muzar. This is uh, probably going to be one of our toughest challenges yet. His squad is also going to be beefy as fuck. So yeah, it's actually one of my favorite fights in the second generation. So uh, please give me a like and a comment if you enjoyed this episode. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!